What's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out Swipe Pages, which is a landing page builder. So that means you can log into Swipe Pages, build your page, host it with them and have it ready in a breeze. Now you can load in your custom domains, you can load in your clients domains and they have sub accounts available. So they have a really good deal going on right now that's a lifetime deal. And I will talk about what I like and dislike about Swipe Pages. So stick around. So let's jump over and check out that deal right now. All right, guys, this is why pages deal that's going on right now. And if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. I would thank you a lot if you use that link. All right. So the deal starts off at $49 and I will be talking about what I like and dislike about swipe pages. And one of the things I have to say out there is that if you already have a landing page builder that's in a lifetime deal, then I wouldn't recommend buying the $49 deal. But don't stop there. Stick around. Let me go back and let me go down here to the plans. And like I said, if you just plan to buy the $49 deal, um, I wouldn't recommend it a lot if you have other page builders because it only gives you three custom domains and 100,000 monthly unique visitors, five sub accounts and five team members. What I do recommend if you want to use this for business, for your clients or for yourself, but really use it, I recommend buying the five stack, which is $245. This gets you 100 custom domains, which I think is a lot. I mean, considering that most of us don't have 100 domains, even I that have a bunch of websites, I have a probably 40 websites and I'm not going to use all of them in this. I would get this right. But if I want to use this for clients, 100 domains is quite enough. You get unlimited monthly unique visitor, visitors, unlimited sub accounts and unlimited team members. Now, one of the important key things here is the unlimited monthly unique visitors. I've seen other deals in the past that limit you here. I wouldn't risk putting a client in one of those lifetime deals because they limit the visits. You never know that a client might just hit boom and they get a bunch of visits and their site will stop working. So I'd rather have unlimited visits like I have right here and 100 domains. Now, one of the cool things is that they include SSL and CDN. They use StackPath and Bunny CDN. They told me that, that that's what they use. Now, the builder is okay. I think it's it's quite good, but it's not as good as others. That's just to be clear out there. Let's just let's jump over to Swipe Pages right here. And this is a dashboard that you're going to be greeted with. First off, I would recommend that you set up your integrations. So for example, if you have a sign up in the landing page, you have to integrate it through here. So you have these ones available. And the most important ones for me is Zapier and Integromat. Using Zapier and Integromat just, I mean, it opens up to just doing anything you want with it, right? And the e-commerce part, it uses Stripe. Now they say they will be adding um, PayPal in 2021. So that's a good idea. So let's jump over to the landing pages right here and let's click on create a brand new page. So I'm going to call this one test for video. All right. Testy uh, test. Create that page and we have two options. So we have the standard page and we have the AMP pages. Google recommends AMP and for obvious reasons, don't even look at standard pages, go into AMP pages. All right. So let's check AMP pages and you're going to be greeted with these templates. Now you can start from scratch, but honestly, I had I hate starting from scratch. I do everything with templates because it makes my life easier. All right. So you have these ones available that look pretty good. Um, if you want to view a template, just click on it. View. Check it out. So it looks really good. It's modern. Let's check out another one. So there's these ones available and they will be adding more. Just breezing on through here and just Grab whichever one you want. You want. So let's use this one. Use this template, and you're gonna be graded with oh, click that with the builder. So this is the builder. It's pretty easy and straightforward to use. Um, on the left side, we have the sections. So each block is considered a section. So for example, if I hover over this section, it's gonna be highlight highlighted in blue. So in this case, this is the section that it's highlighted. Well, let me go back. Ooh, over here. All right, so that's the section. And in this section, we can add a brand new section by clicking on add new section. Or if I hover over this, we have a little plus button on the bottom and we have a plus button on the top. Here we go. We have if we want to add a section on top or on the bottom and it will be added here on the left as a layer. So you have that there. But if you want to customize anything here, we just click on it and we get the customization options on the left. So in this case, we have the size. It's using an H1 size. If we want to lower the size, we can do it from there. We have the, the alignment information. So content width, 100%, the, the wrap align, the text alignment, the text color, 
basically uh, most builders just have this nothing really fancy in that sense if I click on the button also we can change the letters colors the Earl that you wanted to go to so it can be an girl Earl to go or a section in the page so for example if you have this page and on the bottom you have a pricing table well you can have that button click and go to the pricing table so that will go to a section so that's pretty cool open light box a call an email or a checkout uh, we can change these if you want so there's an image we can replace it we can delete it and it's pretty easy and straightforward from that sense if i go down here we have more options available um I'm, i don't want to go into much into depth with the builder because basically they are all similar what i will say like i said before is that they there are other builders that are better but in this case for that price the five stack for that 100 domains, the unlimited visits, that's a killer deal if you want to use it for yourself or for a client. You have also available advanced options. For example, if you want to play around with the border, um, dynamic text, the shadow, animation, if you want to add some animation there. If you want to add, for example, identifiers, the CSS, visibility, hide in. So for example, this is important because let's just say that when you view this, let me click on this. If I want to view it on mobile, Let's just say sometimes you don't want to view too many posts right here, or maybe these images don't look good in mobile view. So I can disable it in, for example, mobile view or tablet or laptop or a desktop. So it gives me that option in a really easy and straightforward way. So that's for the builder part. Like I said before, easy, straightforward. Basically, if you've used Elementor from WordPress, it's pretty much the same, all right, in that sense. Builder on the left, sections on the right, click on something and it's ready to go. Okay, let me save this one and I'm gonna publish it because one of the cool features about this is that they have A-B testing. Let me publish this one really quickly. I can select the subdomain. So in this case, I haven't added my custom domain. I'll just say anything as slug, publish that. And now that it's published, we can view the page. So for example, let's go view that page. And this is the page loading right here go that's how the page looks and the cool part about this is that it's a lifetime deal they're hosting that on their part they're using CDN and I just paid once that's what I like about this and if you get clients for those 100 domains let's just say you're charging I don't know 20 25 bucks I mean I'm just talking really cheap a month for each client that's a lot of money and if you charge I don't know 500 a year or if you priced higher then you make a lot of money so this is the site right now and what I'm going to do is we're going to check the speed on it. So let's go to Gmetrics and check out the speed on that. All right. So here I got Gmetrics and we'll also be testing on Google page speed. All right. So let's put in here the page that I built. I know that links look, link looks nasty. Don't worry about that. You're going to use your own custom domain as a subdomain or the main domain without any problems. So let's check out the speed on this page that we just created right now to see how it actually goes. Now, G GT Metrics checks in Vancouver, Canada. So depending if they have a CDN there, it will do really good. So this page did really well. So it's page speed of A, 96%, Y slow, six, 96%. <clears throat> the fully load time was 4.4 seconds. Um, the load time, I don't really like that load time. I wish it was faster. Uh, maybe the CDN has to start working. Once that pops in, when it starts using it a lot, it will work. Um, total page size, 2.82 megabytes. So that's a really heavy website because of the images and it's a long website, but just something to consider. Request and that. Now let's go to page speed and check it out how that looks. Remember this site is pretty much, it's big, a lot of images, 2.8 megabytes. So that's something to consider. So let's see how the page speed will do. All right, so in mobile view, we have a 69%, which is pretty good for page speed. Trust me, they are not easy. And I'm not trying to sugarcoat this. Try out your site and check it out here. So 69 is fairly good. Um, basically, I have an, another site, other sites that I've tested and I go around mm, 30 to 40 around my site. So 69 is pretty awesome for this one. And on desktop view, it has a 95. The most I've gotten on desktop is around 80, 82, something like that. Just so you get an idea 
how good the the builder is on that one and how fast it is so pretty good metrics on that for the page speed on this site remember this is kind of fairly complex it's not a like an easy landing page so that is how that works now let's go to the a b testing let me go right here and we have we can set this up in the main dashboard or set it up right here so this is variant a and if i wanted to use a variant b i'll create it right here i can clone this page and then edit what i want there or i can start from another blank page so i'll just clone from there all right so that's cloned it and now I can edit this. For example, instead of the title saying workout from home, it could be workout from um, house. I don't know, something different. Uh, what you do with A-B testing is that you find out what works better. Once you start testing those sites, it works how you want. And I can add more variants if I want. I can add a variant C. I haven't saved that one. Let me save that. I can add a variant C and D and just test all of them and I can set the amount of times that I want this to pop up so for example if I wanted to set 50 50 percent so if 100 visitors visit this site 50 percent will see the a variant and 50 percent will see the B variant and if there were C they would be like 33 percent each let's go back over here oh uh, let me get out of here back to dashboard Okay, back in dashboard, we have both of these variants, like I said. We have the standard mode, which is the master, the A. We have the A, B testing. Let me turn that on. Okay, turn A, B testing, and we have the weight, like I said, 50, 50%. I can add a variant right here. I can adjust the variance. So for example, if I set this to uh, 25%, I can up the other one to 75%. So that way, it will show more the variant B. Is that what I selected, 75%? Wait for that to update. Other things you can see, we can edit the URL, publish, and AMP is available. All right, so, oh, that didn't update. Let me see that again. <clears throat> oh, unable to contact the operation. All right, so we found the bug, all right? So let's contact them and tell them about that bug. So the other things that you could do right here is we can also view the analytics for this one. So for example, the unique visits and total visits. Oh, and something that I didn't tell you, tell you about the deal is that these visits, if you don't select the unlimited plan, for example, 100,000 unlimited visitors means these are unique visitors. So that means if I log into that site five times or 10 times or 100 times, it's only one, one count. All right. So it's me with unlimited visits. So it's a unique visitor. We can view the analytics right here. So basically it's basic analytics. So you have the variant A and B analytics. We have the leads. If we used an email capture in that landing page, we will see leads here. We have the settings. So if you wanna set up your Google Maps API key, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, or custom script here. So you have the head, body, and end. So that's pretty cool. Um, lead capture right there for the information. The SEO settings. So it's title, description, made of keywords, and all that good stuff. Or if you want to hide it from the search engines. And the other one is the social sharing. So the image that you want to show is that right there. Basically, that's what Swipe Pages does. Um, we have also the custom domain section. If you want to add your own custom domain, it's through here. Add the domain, it'll tell you the settings. You add those settings in your DNS, where your hosting is. And you're ready to go. In my case, I use Cloudflare. I just set my DNS settings there. And we have to wait a bit till that propagates and then it'll be able to be used. Once it propagates, we can select it as the link that we want to use. So if we don't want to, view, we don't want to use their ugly link, we use our own for custom domains, which would I, re I recommend for anyone. And for the sub account part, you have it right here. So in this case, if I want to add a sub account, I add it right here and depending on the sub accounts you have, if you have the five plan that I recommend, you have unlimited, unlimited sub accounts and for team members, you add them right here. So you add the email and the role you want to assign. We have admin, manager, author, and viewer. So those are the ones that we have. Basically, that is what Swap Pages does. In the sense of doing business with it, I really recommend that you jump into the five stack, which is 245. It's not that I'm trying to sell you the highest plan or anything like that. At the end of the day, you decide what you want. And if you want to skip this deal, it's completely fine. 
Honestly, to do a business with it, I really recommend it because it's only 245 bucks. Like I said before, I mean, if you're only charging the client $25 a month and you have, I don't know, 50 clients, that adds up and it, you pay for, it, it pays for itself really quickly. Well, there you go, guys. That is a swipe pages deal. And like I said before, if you find this video helpful and you would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.